What is up guys? Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition bringing you another video educational wise today. Um, I feel like I haven't made a video in, in a while. Get the old seatbelt on real quick. So I'm just leaving the scrap yard um, that we filled up a bunch of uh, metal in here from yesterday. It was Monday. So we offloaded stuff in here. Um, this morning we loaded up the dump truck over in Sudbury, um, did a clean out over there, and now we're gonna remove a bunch of yard waste um, from their backyard uh, so they can put their house on the market. So uh, dump trucks at the shop, I picked this thing up. We like to do yard waste in this because it is 10 times easier to load. So Connor's over there pulling some of that yard waste out to the front. A lot of brush, a lot of stumps, uh, a lot of big branches. Uh, so I wanted to take this opportunity I have um, kind of solo here to speak to you guys about how I started my business. And I've been wanting to make this video um, for quite some time now. And uh, I didn't I didn't know what approach I was I wanted to take with it. Um, a lot of you guys, you know, ask how do you start your business? I need help advertising. You know, what truck to buy? All that stuff. Um, so I kind of want to touch on you know. When you say how do I start my how do I start a junk removal business, um, you, you just do it. You just make do with what you have, and you do it. So I'm going to share with you my story on how I started my junk removal business in hopes that at the end you're gonna say, "Oh my God, that's how he did it!" Like, dude, let's get out there and get after it like now, like ten minutes ago. Let's do it um, because it's it's that easy, guys. Uh, so, without further ado, let's dive in. Put the place up, yeah, we know what we made of. Can't get enough for you, boy, I'm a chaser. Face up, now I feel a little major. All right, so let's backtrack to what I was doing before I started to do uh, junk removal, before I started Lugaway. So, I was working with a guy um, local to my service area who was doing... Um, junk removal two days a week he had trash routes three days a week and then he was you know swapping dumpsters the whole uh you know that whole time as well uh so i started as a laborer uh worked my way up into um a driver in one of the azuzus um just missed my turn nice um and then i worked my way up into the hook lifts and i was driving hook lifts uh swapping dumpsters and at that point when i was in the uh when i was driving the freight liners i was uh, the foreman of like a five-man crew so shortly after I had uh, you know reached that point which was like a year and a half two years um, my my boss had decided that he wanted to downsize um, a little bit so we had to phase me out right so I'm like kind of number one we have to you know figure out a way to phase me out so we developed like it was like a four or five month plan I think um, which you would think in that four and five months that I knew that I was going to not have a job at that point of, you know, four to five months from then. You would have thought I'd, I'd figure out, you know, oh yeah, let me figure out what I want to do. But yeah, I didn't. Um, so the four and five months came and uh, I knew I wanted to do real estate and I just took a couple weeks off. I took two weeks and um, just kind of collected myself and really kind of did some, I don't know, soul searching to, uh, I don't know, and figured out what I wanted to do. So real estate wasn't gonna work. I didn't have any experience in it. I didn't have enough money to invest in anything. And I didn't have the balls to go out and, and raise money. So I was like, listen, I was thinking about starting a junk removal company. Like, you know, the real estate thing's not gonna work. Why don't, why don't I just, you know, why don't we just try that out? I had enough buddies that I, that I lived with and hung around with, um, you know, that worked at bars and stuff so they could help me during the day. I was like, let's give it a shot. So I start, you know, looking up dump trucks and I'm like, Jesus, these are like, you know, these are going for like 25, 30 grand a pop and they're used, like they're not even in great shape. Um, so, you know, I was like, all right, that's out. So not buying a dump truck. The dump trailer, to be honest with you guys, the dump trailer never even crossed my mind because the service area I'm in, uh, it would never work. On top of that, I honestly had no idea that dump trailers even existed. So 
that wasn't a thing either. All I knew is that I had just bought, it was the year was 2017. I had just bought a 2015 Silverado and I blacked the thing out and I put a lift kit on it. The thing was super nice and I was like, oh God, I, I, I'm gonna have to use this. I was like, I'm not about to throw, you know, a couple grand down on a beater. I was like, I'll just use my, use my 1500 and I'll just have to baby the shit out of it so I don't damage it. So that was the game plan. Um, I got an LLC. I got the business uh, registered with the state of Massachusetts. Um, I built five foot high walls on each side. I had a barn door swinging gate. Um, I used like door hinges from a door that we had like someone had ripped off the friggin wall at a party. Um, and we used a bungee cord to to secure it. And that was our that was our you know our barn door gate. Um, for a tarp, we had that that heavy, uh, it's like a heavy mat uh, that you put down on the roof before you put the shingles on. That was our tarp. Um, I mean, it was a, like straight up a, like the definition of a rinky-dink operation. Um, but I handled myself professionally. So that's kind of how I did it with my pickup truck. So four months in, five months in, we had done like 40,000 in sales. And uh, I had told myself, once I have $10,000 sitting in my bank account for two months, um, I, will, I will put that money down on a dump truck. And I said, if, if I'm that busy and that money's still in there, I will, I will do that. Um, and we were, we were crazy busy. I, this is also because I was taking jobs left and right. I was the cheapest guy out there. People were using me, word got around. It's not like I was making money hand over fist. People were like, Oh, this guy's cheap. Use him. Um, so we did, you know, we did a, a hundred thousand, um, over a hundred thousand in sales um, that first year. But it's not like I kept anywhere close to that. Um, so helper wise, I had my buddies like I had spoke of, um, and that was really it. I did a lot of jobs alone, um, and any jobs that were big, I would try and you know push off until I knew someone uh, someone could help me. Um, Finding help even now is is um, finding good help is hard to find. But right when you start out, you're not gonna be paying someone full time. You just need you need to get your buddies or some family members to to help you out on jobs that you're not gonna be able to do. Um, you're not gonna be able to do by yourself. Um, that's that's kind of that. Advertising wise, like I had said in the other video I had just put out, I used Home Advisor. I don't recommend it. You are a slave to their app. The phone rings, you answer. Um, I was like underbidding jobs just because I wanted to get them. Um, it was, I was not in a great owner's mindset, but then again, I wasn't, I've never been an owner of a business, um, which kind of brings up something else. This is a, this is a business where you can learn as you go. Um, I obviously had the labor experience um, I've had no business experience. I've never taken a business class in my life. Um, I've never taken a sales class in my life. Um, I'm just really good with talking to people and reading people and understanding and kind of reading situations. Um, so if you're like that, you'll get the hang of it quickly. If not, it's something that you're gonna wanna, um, you're gonna wanna invest your time into learning. Um, and maybe even some money in classes. I don't know. I, I, I don't think you need to, but unless you, you know, you literally have rocks rolling around in your head. Um, but yeah, no, no sales experience, no, you know, business ethics, none, none of that. Um, just kind of learn as you go. Uh, so that's another like big point that needs to be touched on is this business. Um, you need to learn as you go because you are never going to understand the value of your of yourself or the value of your business or the value of your team until you get burned on so many jobs. I mean, the amount of jobs, I was looking back at my paperwork uh, the other day when I decided I was gonna make this video. I was picking up, I was picking up couches for like 40 bucks. I was picking up refrigerators for like 30 bucks. I was doing cleanouts, like just the amount of money that was left on the table because I had no idea what I was doing. I just based my prices loosely off of what 
I figured other people were doing. I called around to some other places and got their prices and kind of undercut them. Um, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't take advantage of these Facebook pages um, that, that we're all on today, right? I just joined them like in the middle of 2020. Um, I didn't use YouTube. I didn't even really think to go on YouTube. I'm not really an internet guy um, or, I, or I wasn't. Uh, so I wasn't like marketing myself on YouTube. I, I mean, on, on the internet anywhere, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, I wasn't doing any of that. And honestly, it's because I was embarrassed that I wasn't an established established business. I didn't want to, you know, post about lug away like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll you know, call today, we'll lug it away. Like we'll do anything and everything you have, all this stuff. Because I knew that people around me knew that I didn't have, it wasn't a legit business. It was just me and hopefully a friend if I needed them. Um, but that stuff doesn't matter. Build your business, build your brand um, as if you're one of the big time guys in your area and, you know, it, it will come. That that hindered me um, a lot. So uh, something, to, uh, something to think about. But um, yeah, I mean, that's how I started. I didn't, uh, I, I didn't really have an understanding of what it was going to be like until I just jumped in and was doing it when I was working jobs and getting phone calls and learning how to juggle the two and like I had said before like this is like key 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 information to to learn and hold on to and understand is that experience is going to be the best knowledge you can um, kind of harness for yourself so you get burned on a job just use it as a learning experience don't don't beat yourself up about it you just learn something You'll never do that again. And you know what's going to happen? You will do it again. And you'll probably do it a third time. And and maybe even then you don't learn. Even though you tell yourself at the end of the day, like, oh, I'm never doing a clean out like that again. Like, I remember the first, the first ever big job I did was in my pickup truck. And it was... It was like... I think I charged a guy 1500 bucks. I demoed an office by myself. And I was like, well, if I'm here for a full day, that's like 1500 bucks worth to me. Now, looking back on that, and the amount of trips I did in my pickup truck, Jesus, I, I think I profited like $300 on that. Um, if I look at that now, that, that would easily would have been a $4,500, $5,000 job. And you know what happened was the guy who, who let me do that job, not only did he pay me double, but he is still a customer today, and I am so thankful for that guy, Rich, over in Dedham. Um, he kind of allowed me to use um, him as a, as a learning curve, um, which was like phenomenal. But you're never gonna find someone like that. that was like like shooting fish in a, or not shooting fish in a barrel. That was like a shot in the dark. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, that that's how I started, guys. It, it's not that difficult. You don't need a new truck. You don't need a new trailer. You need to have your head screwed on, and you need to be hungry. You need to go door to door and, um, you know, put flyers out if you need to. Put business cards in other businesses. A new business opens. Like, the other day, I went into um, a new business. It was a candy shop that opened, um, opened up down the street from where I live. And I went in there, and I waited in line to get in there because of COVID, and I, I, I picked something out that I didn't want, but I obviously wanted to buy something, and I had a you know, nice conversation with the owner who was behind the... Jesus. Um, nice conversation with the owner that was behind the uh, register, and I politely asked her, I said, do you mind if I leave some business cards here? I'd love to um, you know, help you out if you need anything. Um, yada 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 and she was she just said no I there was no reason for it she didn't give me a reason I didn't ask her a reason she just she said no she said she wasn't interested uh, in oh, oh. she said uh, she just wasn't interested in having me do that and that's fine the amount of times that's happened I mean every 10 businesses I've walked into two of them let me put my business cards there not even um but you just gotta get out there and, and grind it out. It is a 24 seven job, especially when you're starting out. You can't get down on yourself. You can't, um, 
you know, if you're not busy, you can't, you know, let that affect your mindset. You got to put good energy out um, and you will receive it, but it's not going to happen overnight. And one thing I will tell you is junk removal, you will make money your first year. If you're not one of those people that dumps a bunch, you, like you say, oh, like, you know, you think of it as like a startup. Like I remember someone on one of the Facebook pages was talking about, you know, buying all this new equipment and then starting. Dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Start with a pickup truck. If you don't have a pickup truck, buy a trailer to attach it to your car. If you don't have, if you don't have the option to, I don't know, use a U-Haul truck for the first little while. Um, and start that way. You're going to make money your first year um, if you're if you're not thinking of it as like oh I need to invest right off the rip. Um, you can start it like I did with a pickup truck, did 40 grand in four months, um, save save save, and you're gonna be fine. Um, pulling up to the job here right now, so I gotta run. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. To all my subscribers, everyone interacting with me through the channel, I want to thank you very much. Um, my wife's calling me, so something's got to be up. Probably my puppy. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.